Hello guys, welcome back, so Thornton here, this is the Daily Grind, this is Saint Seiya Tencent, the original version of Saint Seiya Awakening, a game for Android and iOS. Um, this video is just to showcase the results of farming 4 stars that you can do for free without spending money and any person can achieve results like this within a week. Now, I started saving my stars when the evil saga banner ended for the Chinese version. Currently, there is no summoning banner going on in the Chinese version. So, uh, if there, this ever happens in the Awakening version, whenever it's an off week, whenever there is no banner going on, don't use your summoning stars. Just keep saving them. Um, so, the point of this video is to show you ways to acquire summoning stars for free. Now, your best investment is always going to be gather 1,000 diamonds, like this one here, diamonds, which for some reason they don't sell directly on the global version. They only sell you coupons they don't sell you the actual gems so you are going to have to farm for your gems every day how do you get gems well uh, after every maintenance you are going to get 150 gems that's every week to those 150 gems you can add whatever it is your ranking on pvp Uh, 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 uh. Okay, for me, in this version, I am uh, at a high enough rank that every day I'm getting 50 gems. So that's 350 per week. And we already have 500 gems for free every week. That's just for this. Now, if you win five fights in a row in normal Saint Arena, then you are able to cash this 20 diamond reward so that's 520 whenever you finish a whole board nine fights in the training hall you get another 20 gems and then if you finish all your goals for the week in training hall you get another 50 gems so that's 570 and we still haven't finished there is also a weekly price for the galaxy war that is also dependent on your ranking uh, every week for the pvp you get gems there's the reward depending on your tier for example if you manage to get to platinum that's going to be 600 gems per week this is uh, on top of the 100 120 that you get from saints arena we were already up to 570 plus 100 more from saint arena if you rank in between gold and platinum that's how you how much you're going to get 100 gems uh, that's 670 plus let's say 500 from here on gold that's already 1100 and also you get a weekly price from here that's another 100 gems so we are up to 1200 so that's enough to come to the store to the main uh, screen where you can buy 11 summoning stars for 1000 gems this is actually cheaper or well you're getting uh, one summoning star free for every 10 that you buy 
because you can buy those stars directly from the star hill where you perform the summons here you can buy stars one is going to cost you 100 but here you can buy in the normal store you can buy uh, 11 for just 1000 diamonds so there is that there are many other ways those are mostly random whenever you get achievements uh, whenever you finish a storyline um, daily if your legion commander comes here to the legion store there is this coffer and I'm also gonna buy this because I'm, li I'm leader here in the Chinese version for a small legion um, the first chest now I have to wait until they give it to me on the on the mail has a small chance of giving you a summoning star but also diamonds here on the training grounds of master doko this is depending on your account level and your training level for the doko training grounds uh, when you become high level here there is a small chance that any of the pictures here that have a chest will give you both gems and summoning stars this is why it's important you do all your activity every day so you can level this quickly also you get to store more energy and as you can see from this account energy has stopped being a problem for me oh the mail arrived this particular bonus uh, you can buy it in the store but your legion commander can buy it for free the treasury for the legion has to be at least level 2 before you are able to buy that particular buff and also for this chest you have to be uh, the alliance has to be level 2 the main hall and the treasury also has to be level 2 so let's see what it gives to me now. Oh, there it is, a summoning star uh, that you can get for free every day if your luck is such, and also some experience. But you can also get gems this way, or normal summoning stones. And this is something people don't believe me when I, I, I tell this. Just let me finish. I just split all my A and my S Cosmos now. I have to stop caring about that. So let me show you real quick. Um, uh, 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 oh, there's that. What I was going to do. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. Remind me because I was pretty surprised. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, C cards. Because some people complain that... Uh, about B cards getting an excess of B cards and C cards sooner or later you are going to be swimming in B cards like you're going to get so many let me show you my Pegasus that I haven't leveled up uh, well I stopped but look I almost maxed him out but I'm gonna use those cards now because his basic is not very good anyways. You, if you want Pegasus is for and for other reasons. And I think the bear is already maxed out too. Oh, I don't have his I don't have his seven cents. Yeah, I, I have to work on this. But later, later. Fortunately you get tons of bear. You can forget about the Black Saints. Forget about that. You want free stars? I talk about this in a couple of other videos, but this one is dedicated to getting free stars every week. Free, like you're not investing money. And this is completely on you. Um, in the very beginning, it's going to be difficult for you to, to pull this off. 
because you're going to need every repeat card you can get your grubby hands on. But later, later, when you're running out of stuff to do because you already match the characters, uh, you're diversifying your roster and, and whatnot because you need at least uh, 18 fully developed characters to finish the game. And that's because there's going to come, uh, there's going to be another game mode released for a new skill called the 8 Sense that gives your characters tons of stats but that will come later I will explain that when it's already implemented into the Singapore version but you come here to your character select the screen you click on manage and then you click on split and on the split you're going to choose to to rank by rarity and then you're going to do this. You're going to sync all your unwanted and unblocked B cards and you're going to split them. You get some common dust, that's a stardust and some experience for your saints. But then below here, uh, there's a secret store. Well, it's not so secret, but it's not very apparent. Uh, where you can buy five summoning stars per week. On the Singapore version, this uh, particular store resets every Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on the United States. So, uh, on the server reset, mostly. And it's just 40 common stardust. But the good part is that you can also buy, this is how many people power level. Uh, you just buy your bottles because this is very cheap. This is actually 200,000 experience points. So I just bought myself a million for free and uh, it's 25 times per week so that's 5 million experience for free per week sacrificing all those B cards that you don't want that you have been whining that you keep getting those instead of gold saints well you can use those to buy even more summoning stars and if you are getting cards that you don't like like for some weird reason you pull 10 uh, uh, well when when he comes out uh, when andromeda comes out the other common dust the purple one you get that one by sacrificing s cards so if for whatever reason you get too many repeats of Aldebaran, uh, Andromeda, uh, I don't know, uh, the C generals, most of the C generals from the S, car, uh, the S rank are not very good or they are not really usable outside of canon, uh, C dragon canon. Uh, you can use those to buy these uh, skill books. You can buy one whole skill book every week like if the if the summoning a star chart where you aim at the scorpio and then wave a chicken at the screen cross your fingers cross your heart say a prayer and turn around and play five times before you you do the pull and you all you are always getting saga and now you have 60 cards of saga and you don't know what to do with them you can split them and buy a skill book per week. That will be four skill books per month. So that's enough to bring uh, either four skills to level two or two skills to level three per month for a single character. Uh, so there is that. There is that. That's how you get a lot of material. But here's the thing. Um, Sooner or later, you're going to run out of C cards. 
because you have to level up your tomes to level 60 and 5 stars before you can get a level 80 character with 6 stars rebirth. Uh, I have uh, like 100 C cards and I only managed to make two books and I still need two more. So trust me, on Wednesday when the Chinese version um, starts a new banner, that's when I'm going to be pulling 40 normal times and uh, whatever I can gather from here to Wednesday, I gather it's going to be around 70 stars because that's the usual number I pull. At the same time for my big summoning videos on the Spanish channel, um, I hope I can get another one of my characters. It's not experience. You're not going to suffer from experience points. You're not going to suffer from money to do the leveling up. You're not going to suffer from Cosmos. Do you want to see my Cosmos library? This is a, a Araya Shiki Shaka, by the way. Uh, the, some of these Cosmos or most of these Cosmos have not yet been released in the other version, but they will come. Uh, there's a, this Cosmos that gives you both Cosmos attacking power and the speed at the same time. And the rest is just from leveling up the substats. And if you, if you gather three of these uh, hummingbirds, then you get a 5% increase flat for all your Cosmos power. And there is also this thing that gives you Cosmo attack resistance when you gather three, and that's HP points and Cosmo defense. But you see, you can also get speed as a substat, and it can be on any Cosmos. So uh, later this week, I'm to, because this Cosmos is bad, this only has four substats, and it's not percentages, it's flat numbers, so it doesn't work for me. Um, so I'm probably going to be using, uh, I have to farm for those because I only have two more, and one of them is physical attack, which doesn't work for, for Shaka, but most of my Cosmos are SS rank, so you are not going to suffer for Cosmos either. Like, I have many, I have plenty. And there are many Cosmos that have not yet been released that let you customize your characters a lot, lot more. Oh, this one is missing one level. Oh, but I don't have experience to gear it up. So just let me check real quick if I have another one. Because if not, then I have to go farm for this. Oh no, I have several. But they're probably, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna be upgrading this one. Because I need more speed on this Shaka and more attacking power. And this atrocity that gives you both flat numbers for Cosmo attacking power and percentage for Cosmo attacking power, that's the 30% increase in Cosmo attack just from this bunch, but when you gather the three of them, you also get a, another 5% just from the Cosmos. So this is just 35% Cosmo attack just from the red Cosmos. And I have a total of 50 something percent. Oh, 42%, 43% Cosmos attack power and Cosmo Critical too. So yeah, uh, you're not going to be suffering from Cosmos, you're not going to be suffering. This is actually one billion experience points. So trust me, you're not going to be suffering from, from this stuff. Um, and money, well, money I have tons. That's uh, 400, no, that's 46 million coins that I don't know what to do with them. They, they actually released a, a money sink 
because nobody is using money in this version anymore. And I mean, uh, uh, this is what I wanted to show you. you do you want S cards? You're going to get all the S cards you, you want. Like my doco, I already showed you guys. All of these skills were upgraded using repeats ever from his launch. That six months ago, so I'm getting like two docos per month, more or less. And I still have one, level one here, that is waiting for his cousins to arrive before they go into the big flight of dragon skills. Because you have to max that one first, or the passive here. So yeah, guys, don't worry. Uh, uh, there's no system for summoning either. Um, uh, in the very beginning, I didn't know that you... Uh, because, come on, look. I mean, now we know what it means. But in the very beginning, this was like, oh, there's something red down there, but it's symbols, it's kanji. So, whatever, I try to aim at something that looks like this uh, and I, I was like this I, if I got three summoning stars I, I came to this uh, screen and used the, the three together one by one or in, in a bunch and I didn't know about the summoning banners and stuff like that or, or the increased chances and I still got my S cards and just to drive a point home, uh, there's only, I'm only missing Poseidon, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, uh, Scorpio Milo, this one where, which you don't get from the summoning stars, you have to actually buy this one with PVP tokens, that's Pavo Mayura, uh, uh, this guy Wyvern Radamantis, and uh, this guy, this gal that I have never gotten, uh, Warm Rimey, that is a new character. It started after the Evil Saga banner finished. Uh, he was added to the summoning pool. And that's it. That's all I'm missing. Like, I have all the Bronze Saints all the, well, most of the silver saints because I have neglected to buy Majura. I'm only missing Milo and Poseidon from the sea generals. So I, I have pretty much everybody. And they are well into level 75 stars, well geared with Cosmos and stuff like that. So don't worry guys, don't worry. Things will improve for you over time. When I started out, I didn't know there, there were times of the day where you had more chances of actually pulling escorts. So I just used the summon, uh, whatever. Then I started saving stars. And then I noticed there were banners and there were uh, summoning events. And then I started saving more and more uh, stars. So now I have this system where by playing for free without spending money uh, I can summon around 130, 140 stars every banner on the Chinese version. And that's also pretty consistent with, uh, with what I have been able to do on the Awakening version, on the English version. I'm doing more or less 80 to 100 pulls every week distributed uh, among different days but during the banner for example for the Leo and Virgo banner I made 100 pulls in total even though I didn't want to perform the, the remaining 30 uh, it was kind of well they give you a lot of experience for pulling 100 so why not so I ended up doing that and I got Saga in the process so there is that so there's one way guys
to get at least 20 summoning stars for free just from sacrificing B cards. Make sure that you join a legion or a start a legion to buy that special chest that I showed you and ask your commander to level up the treasury so you get better rewards here too because here you get tons of stuff and as soon as you finish one start the next one they take in between 8 to 12 hours depending on the mission always check if there is a teammate a friend or a legion ally that needs help with his dispatches too so you get even more points uh, this is a very very small uh, legion we have here in the Chinese version and it's it's mostly for Latin Americans uh, it's server 30 the legion is the Seth MX Legion number 571 so if you want to join currently we are only 13 people if you're playing the Chinese version on server Q30 you can join my legion here I always log in at around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the United States uh, if you are not getting along with other uh, in, the, in your current legion on server Q30 or you're playing the Chinese version uh, because you want access to the latest characters uh, and you are playing on server Q30 or you're, you're, start, you're just starting out and you want to join a legion that is established that has established players that can help you out I'm buying that coffer for this legion and the one in Tauros 8 in Awakening every day without missing so my guys it's completely random though sometimes you don't get it but uh, mostly let's say 4 times out of 10 it is a summoning star that you get and if not it's diamonds so you're winning anyways uh, you're getting around 200 diamonds per week and three or four summoning stars just from that chest alone so it's worth it for you if you ask your legion commander to start buying that thing because if your legion has at least 10 people and you hit your your legion boss every day you can pay for the buff and the chest and you will still be making money of your legion gold so well let's keep this a short video because it's just informative on how to get free summoning stars if you like the channel if you like my content leave a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment telling me what do you want to see next i'm going to keep updating this channel with both versions of the game because on Wednesday, if I make the pull for the new banner or the summer event, I'm going to update this. If you see that the screen is uh, weird, this is not a mod, this is not an illegal version. We are currently into the Hades chapter of the Saint Seiya storyline. So that's pretty much the end of uh, the, the manga version. Uh, but there's still Thanatos, Hypnos, uh, Orpheus of the Lyre, and several, several um, characters from Hades chapter. Like, I mean, they have released Radamantis, that's a given. Uh, but there's still the other two judges of the Underworld, and they have added uh, Warm Raimi and Niobe of Deep, uh, this guy. And these are characters from the Hades chapter that <laughs> appear for maybe three pages total combined. So, so that gives me hope that we are going to get the uh, surplus skins for the Gold Saints at least. Uh, we are more likely to get the other two judges of the Underworld. 
uh, Thanatos, Hypnos, uh, Pandora has already been released, uh, the Silver Saint Orpheus, Orpheus of the Liar, and uh, other other specters that were very very cool in the in the manga storyline. So there is that. So I'm gonna keep updating this. So that said, uh, remember to click on the bell, on, the, on that little bell, on the description, so you get a notification when I upload new material for the channel. See you around, guys. Remember, keep grinding on.